Hello everyone, welcome to Tradeline. In today's video, I want to share a simple and very profitable strategy that uses the combination of three of the most popular and free indicators. It's a simple strategy, but in order to use it successfully and profitably, you must consider several important factors which I will explain in this video. So be sure to watch the full video to make sure you don't miss anything. Before we go any further, if you want to show us your support and help us produce a lot of new content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's only two clicks, but it means a lot to us. Additionally, I would like to point out that you can apply this strategy to a wide range of asset classes, including forks, stocks, cryptos, and indices, in any time frame. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. As usual, I am using tradingview.com for our technical analysis, and we're about to set up three indicators. Alright so now let's add our indicators to our chart. To add indicators, here we click the indicator menu at the top. And in the search menu, type our first indicator's name, which is the Stochastic RSI. And we're going to use this one here. Click on it to add it to the chart. Like the RSI, Stochastic RSI cycles between overbought levels above 80 and oversold levels below 20. The Stochastic RSI reaches these levels much more frequently than the RSI, as a result of which, it provides more trading opportunities. It moves within the range of 0 to 100. Now, how this indicator works. A buy signal would be generated when the Stochastic RSI falls below the oversold level 20 and then moves back above it. Conversely, a sell signal would be generated when the Stochastic RSI rises above the overbought level 80 and then crosses it to the downside. Of course, one should use a longer-term trend filter to ensure that you only take trades in the direction of the trend. And in this strategy we will use two exponential moving averages to ensure the direction of the trend. Alright, so go to the indicators. Type EMA in the search box. And then add it to the chart. And for this EMA we must change the settings. So go to the indicator settings. And change the length from 9 to 50. And in the style section, I'm going to make it a little thicker, so that we can see it clearly. We must add another EMA to our chart, so go to the indicators. Again type EMA in the search box. And then add it to the chart. And for this EMA we must also change the settings. So go to the indicator settings. And change the length from 9 to 100. And in the style section, I'm going to change it to yellow. You can choose any color you want. After successfully placing all of these trading indicators on your trading chart, let's see how to use them. Let's start with the rules for entering short positions. So here are the conditions for entering a short trade. First, the 50 period moving average must be below the 100 period moving average. Moreover, both moving averages should be sloping downward. Second, the stochastic RSI should cross the 80 level to the downside, indicating a sell signal. And finally, the price action must be closed below the 50 period moving average. All the rules are met on this candle, so this is the candle where we will enter the trade. We will open a short order at the open of the next candle. You can set a stop loss on either the 50 period moving average line or the most recent swing high, depending on which is closest to the entry candle. And our first target will be at the recent swing low. Let's look at some examples to help you understand. Here the 50 EMA is below the 100 EMA and they are sloped downwards. And here the stochastic RSI crossed the 80 level to the downside indicating a sell signal. And the price is also closed below the 50 EMA. All the rules are met on this candle. We will open a short order at the open of the next candle. And I set the stop loss at the 50 period EMA. And our target will be at the recent swing low. Let's look at another example. Here the stochastic RSI crossed the 80 level to the downside indicating a sell signal. Both EMAs are sloped downwards. And the price is also closed below the 50 EMA. All the rules are met on this candle, so we will enter a short trade at the open of the next candle. And I set the stop loss at the most recent swing high. And the target at the recent swing low. Now let's understand the conditions for entering a long trade. Entering a long position is the exact opposite of entering a short position. 
First, the 50-period moving average must be above the 100-period moving average. Moreover, both moving averages should be sloping upward. Second, the stochastic RSI should cross the 20 level to the upside, which is a buy signal. And finally, the price action must be closed above the 50-period moving average. All the rules are met on this candle. We will open a long order at the open of the next candle. You can set a stop loss on either the 50-period moving average line or recent swing low, depending on which is closest to the entry candle, and our target will be at the recent swing high. Here the stochastic RSI crossed the 20 level to the upside, indicating a buy signal, and the 50 EMA is above the 100 EMA, and the price is also closed above the 50 EMA. All the rules are met on this candle, so we will enter a long trade at the open of the next candle. And I set the stop loss at the 50 period EMA, and the target at the recent swing high. Again, nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice, this is purely for informational purposes. So thank you guys for watching, and if you like the video then be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. I'll see you in the next video.